pay-per-view for something that's not even a pay-per-view. A fake pay-per-view. A fake pay-per-view that I will not be watching live because I have IWC's 15th anniversary show to uh, to work. Um, so I am sort of conflicted here. But then again, I can just come home and watch this anyways. Um, so this is in Toronto. So it's going to be a great crowd, I think. I think not as hot as... as as I think we saw this past week in um, with um, with um, Chicago. Chicago. Thank you. Uh, but uh, but still, I think I think pretty decent. Just announced. Just announced. Where's Matt Carlin's for this one? League of Nations. Uh, Sheamus and uh, King Barrett will be taking on the New Day. Is it Sheamus and Barrett? Yeah. Sheamus and Barrett officially on the website. Because I, I was told that Sheamus was wrestling Roman Reigns. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't I don't say think Roman's wrestling. It doesn't say it's for the belt necessarily, but uh, but still, to see that Barrett's actually getting in the ring there, I think it's pretty hmm. significant since he's been kind of the... I mean, he's been in the six-man tags and everything lately, but in general... Oh, hmm. not super lately. <laughs> well, no. It, 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 SmackDown was his first... Yeah, in the, in the past week's couple week's weeks, week. in the past couple weeks, he's been popping up. Uh, but other than that, uh, we have uh, Brock Lesnar versus Bray Wyatt. Huh? Cool. Uh, we wanted that at Mania. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. What's that? Most of us wanted that at Mania. We did. Okay. I mean, but but I I think well, let's get into the rest of the card here. But I I have some some thoughts kind of going into this and 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 what this could mean for other things. Jeez, uh, WWE's website is absolutely insane right now. Because um, I don't know what page I'm supposed to be on. In you can moment. keep scrolling. I know Lord. you can keep scrolling, and there's Forever. another match. So it's now dictating the flow of the show as I keep scrolling and figure out what I'm hoping it brings Damn up. Damn you, Joey Styles! I, I'm hoping it brings up another rowback block match I haven't talked about, um, and not like a total divas recap. Um, but anyways, um, I think I think a lot of you guys were really excited about this when it was announced um, on the midweek war last week. Uh, the tag team champions revival. Uh, versus Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy. Mm-hmm. That's cool. uh, it's uh, all right, all yeah. right. Bring that NXT kind of intermixing things a little bit. Yeah. It's not a pay per view per se, um, so I, I think there's a lot of opportunity there. Uh, what do you, what, uh, 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 Bobby and Eamon especially? I know you're big, uh, uh, big into the NXT stuff. Uh, what do you think about this coming to the to a big ish show like this? I think it's a smart move. I think you know nowadays NXT. Um, you know, more well known, obviously, in the WWE realm, and it's not just that kind of niche sort of thing. So, yeah, why not feature it? And um, yeah, uh, I think it's interesting. I think uh, my inkling is to think that this could be the when they get to end zone cast, but uh, hey, who knows? It's, a, it's gar- a way to showcase Enzo and Cass before they come to the main roster. Okay, yeah, that as well. Yeah, see how they fly and everything. I think they've been. Uh, doing dark matches in front of the crowd here for a little bit as well. I think a lot of guys are. Baron Corbin has been, I know. Um, and, 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 yeah, eat that food. I, I, what's that? <laughs> eat, eat that food. Eat that food. Um, <clears throat> uh, but anyways, uh, in, 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 and I think that's a really, I think that's a really good note that NXT is going to be on the show like this. Uh, I was at the Arnold Classic, as I know you guys yep. were as well. And, and did you get to see Triple H and Arnold out there? Elliot did. did. You did. did. You did. I walked in about that time too. So uh, uh, oh, and, and, we didn't even see each other. We would have been. We would have been like right next to each other because it wasn't that big. Uh, yeah, but everybody was there at the time, so it was impossible. Oh, yeah, we got over to one the side. Music hit, and you just saw a bunch of extremely ripped people just standing on tables. <laughs> yeah, it was, and, it was uh, crazy. Triple just like H our live shows. Music, it was awesome. Right? Yeah, yeah exactly. just like our live shows. Just ripped people standing on tables. <laughs> It yeah, was definitely the most fit <laughs> wrestling audience I've ever seen. Yeah. You know, there was definitely people that were definitely just there for NXT. But anyways, but they did a Q and A uh, with with Triple H after Arnold left to go do Arnold things, um, and uh, <laughs> and, uh, and 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 it was talking about like how like there's you know Brooklyn they're having it the day before uh, uh, Takeover is going to be uh, I think the day before the Hall of Fame and and, and uh, for WrestleMania weekend. He says I want these I want them to go out there. And tear the house down so that everybody that's up there for the big show, SummerSlam, WrestleMania, is like, oh, damn, you know, and starts going right. back to the drawing board. Right. And I think we got that feeling. We definitely got that feeling SummerSlam weekend, didn't we? 
when they did that. I think it's been a pretty good success. And he wants the women to step up too, obviously, by what's going on there. Um, it's, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting to see how that's going. So, And here, here it is. It's rising up to the big stage here. So. Absolutely. Um, and uh, speaking of the big stage, uh, Triple H himself, um, who was Snapchatting with Arnold this weekend. That was weird. Uh, <laughs> taking on Dean Ambrose. Um, this could be a kind of middle thing. Like, you know, this could be just like, let's throw Dean and Dino in there, uh, to, to make room while, while Roman recovers and he'll come back and we'll, we'll build up WrestleMania properly after this. Or I think Dean's getting a lot of people's hopes up and I'm concerned. Yeah, I, 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 my thoughts are very uh, hopeful, (laughs) obviously. Um, my hope is that they call an audible, not because I don't like Triple H because I clearly do, but I mean, I think there's cases where, like, I think it'd be nice to see WWE realize, oh wait, this isn't gonna work. We need to, <laughs> we need to try something different, try something new. This isn't gonna be the first time this year that they've obviously called some sort of audible with Mania. Like, I don't think you know. I don't think it would be wrong to give the belt to Dean here, and then maybe lead to something with him and Roman, you know. Something along that line. I, I explained yesterday on, on the raw wrap up. Um, I I I uh, my my level of expected shenanigans during this show are very mm. very high. Just like that Hell in a Cell with Shane and and, and Undertaker, right? Um, and especially with Wyatt kind of taking a fancy to the belt on Monday night, right? Uh, Brock obviously wants to be a part of it. Um, could we have like I think something funny is going to happen, and not haha funny necessarily. Yeah, but something goofy is going to happen. I feel like we're going to have something like the Daniel Bryan situation at thirty, right? Sim- similar, but some kind of multi-match. I can't imagine them just throwing all four people in a match or five people <laughs> in a match. The I, return I, of the championship scramble. <laughs> <laughs> oh please no! That's like the worst idea for a WrestleMania ever. But and, blame Stephanie. Blame Stephanie exactly, um, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, what? Like, how do you think this could kind of coalesce into something? Or does somebody who's injured is unexpectedly better, as John Cena is known to be? Mm. Well, well, Cena did confirm that he will not be a WrestleMania. Well, that yeah. son of a bitch well, before the Royal Rumble well. I attended said the same damn thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, no, he. he he came out and said that he won't be competing at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I'm assuming he will be there in some capacity. I think we're going to see some special guest referees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we're going to have a. No, a it is crazy to think. A myriad. I mean, it is kind of crazy to think. Good. That, uh, that this is the, the, this is the first WrestleMania in 12 years that hasn't had a Cena match. That's insane. That is absolutely insane to me right now. Um, wow. But. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Uh, uh, Bobby, Sasha, Elliot? Well, I guess my, my hope originally, like, I mean, was kind of that Roman would turn heel. Mm-hmm. But I, I'm guessing that's probably not going to happen. But that was kind of my dream right there was something like that. Or, But my guess is that I totally agree with you is that we're probably going to see some sort of triple quadruple threat situation. Yeah. Just because I'm a little worried that, uh, oh, snap. Oh, there we go. Yeah, because I... Yeah, I'm. Kind of, I kind of understand where you're coming from. Maybe it's just not enough of a draw, Roman versus Triple H for people. Certainly, certainly. Uh, uh, Bobby, Sash. Um, I think, yeah, I think there could be something that happens, but I, I, I still think it's going to be Roman and, and Triple H. I, mm-hmm. I think they built that too much, and I think they have invested too much into that. So I'm thinking they're going to stick with it. As much as much as it pains me to say that, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but maybe it'll it'll make it more interesting somehow. Yeah, they you know, <laughs> they've heard they, it a they, little bit. Like again, the 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 the, the detour to WrestleMania. If, if we're not tired of wrestling puns, they're even making the road puns at this point. <laughs> yeah. Has anybody noticed this week? But there you go. Well, W Roadblock, we'll be watching it at some time. Um, I almost wish it was at at five in the morning again, so I know I'd be able to watch it. But um, <laughs> but hey, some people have to do things on Saturday nights. So uh, or Sunday night, like a regular pay per view. Yeah, Sunday night, like a regular pay per view. What the hell, guys? Is this in our house show? They just like 
drop. Yeah. Oh, I got this ticket to this awesome house show coming up. Hey guys, special event. Right. Just like it, originally, it was called March to WrestleMania. Yeah. Well, which oh, I think yeah, yeah. isn't that their live tour? Like, isn't yeah. everything March to WrestleMania in in the month of March or whatever? Right. Yeah. So. And not to mention, I know several of us from the Wrestling Mayhem show will be in attendance. Um, sorry, Cortana apparently kicked on in the middle of my uh, Bobby's face over here. Um, but oh, just, being a distract. No, no, you're not sorry. Don't be sorry. It's my computer that just oh. that, <laughs> it just binged. I'm sorry, I have Cortana's face. Bobby, Bobby, it just binged over your face. Bobby got binged, and and it's weird. Uh, Wouldn't be but- the first time. Right? Hey now, hey now, hey now. But um, anyways, no. Uh, so uh, 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 Rob will be in Pittsburgh on Monday, so we'll have a lot of people yes. firsthand as well uh, uh, about whatever goes on there. It usually gets pretty interesting in Pittsburgh. So mm-hmm. Heel Town, Heel Town, USA. That's right. <laughs> I'm surprised they're still letting us have Raw yeah, after no those kidding. days. Yeah. But Especially then again, the Rumble. Look at Chicago. We ruined. We ruined. We ru- ruined, ruined the Royal, the Royal Rumble. Rumble and made we CM did. Punk go away. Yep. <laughs> We scared Rey Mysterio out of the WWE. That yep. too. That too. <laughs> and killed the Batista reboot. And CM Punk. Yep. <laughs> uh, and, and created Bootista. Bootista. Mm. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, hey, uh, go check out. Hey, check. If you like wrestling that you're probably not going to boo, uh, go over to IndieWrestling.us, guys. <laughs> A lot of stuff going on over there. The digital downloads and DVD pre-orders for IWC's Proving Ground 5. Uh, a great main event with friends of the show, Darren De Niro, who's been uh, getting around a lot, including, uh, I think he made it on Raw during the Tough Enough casting calls uh, when those videos were going out. Uh, and he's done a lot of cool stuff. Uh, uh, taking on I- IWC champion Jimmy Nuts. Uh, great show. A lot of new people. There's a interesting new guy. As much as I paused at his name, um, Shane Inyaface. He's an MMA crossover guy that has debut, and uh, I think I think he's gonna they're gonna have a lot of fun with him here in the coming weeks. You guys are actually gonna see him taking on another friend of the show, uh, Dylan Bostic at IWC's 15. If you're in the Pittsburgh area this weekend, I'll also be available shortly after on digital download and DVD at IndieWrestling.us. But also we threw some old school ones up there too, some some stuff we we've never really released on uh, digital download, uh, including uh, uh, AD after Demarco. <laughs> Uh, these are from around 2011, I believe. Uh, Night of the Superstars with Mick Foley, Chavo Guerrero <laughs> versus DJ Zima Ion. Before I think he was Zima Ion, and uh, uh, Tracy Brooks against Gail Kim. Uh, Carlito's a part of that card as well. Uh, a lot of good stuff there. November Payne, Zima Ion versus Ray Rowe. Wrap your head around that one if you're not familiar with their indie days. Um, some good stuff from November Pain 4. Uh, IndieWrestling.us. Sign up for the newsletter. Uh, check out the great Around the Indies uh, um, uh, column by uh, Mainstream Matt. He catches you up on the weekend. Uh, not up yet, but I know it's...